what is up guys it is the blue bloods here and jackson state in my opinion might have just landed the most impactful transfer that they have gotten all all season long as former middle tennessee state defensive back safety gregory great has announced his transfer to jackson state as of as according to his twitter man and this is a guy that brings major experience to the back end of that defense when you're looking at his full career uh, 232 total tackles eight interceptions seven forced fumbles over 20 pass breakups seven tackles for loss and two sacks over at middle tennessee state this guy for me is an instant impact player for cut for coach for coach prom and jackson state man out of carroll city down from Miami, Florida, 5'11", 197. Last year was was second on Middle Tennessee's Middle Tennessee State's team with 90 plus tackles, three interceptions, three forced fumbles. Was an honorable mention in the on the All CUSA team. Was on the Senior Bowl watch list. I mean, this guy's done it all. And then his junior season in 2020 was a first team All American selection in the CUSA and started all those games, 74 tackles, four picks, also has some pass breakups and three forced fumbles. And this guy is just a baller, man. I mean, he's been a three-year starter over at Middle Tennessee State. And when you go all the way back, man, to his high school career, was a three-star prospect, won a state title in 2016 over there in Carroll City High School. And what Gregory Great is going to bring, in my opinion, man, is just that overall playmaking ability, intensity. He's going he's gonna to be great in coverage. He's going to be a downhill guy who can make plays. And when you look at Jackson State losing Shiloh for we don't know an extended amount of time, I think when you pair Great with, in my opinion, Cam's going to be at that other safety spot, you arguably have one of the best safety duos in the FCS. When you combine the first season that Cam learned a lot coming into year two in that system, I think Cam's going to take a big step forward. But for great coming in with all his experience, all his accolades, all the ability that he brings to the fo to, to the football field, Jackson State is going to have, I mean, just a ridiculous secondary from great to Cam to Travis Hunter to Nugget. I mean, the list goes on and on. And looking at this pickup, man, this due to Shiloh's injury, due to some question marks, you know, potentially about that safety spot, I think this is the most impactful pickup for Coach Prom in Jackson State, man. Like I mentioned, great for me, is going to bring, bring a presence in the box if you want to bring him down in the box. He has playmaking ability in the back end because he does ex he does an excellent job of tracking the ball in the air, knowing where he is in open space, and that's an invaluable quality of a safety on, on the back end of a defense. Man, you always want them to be good in open space. You know, Looking at the NFL draft coming up, there are some questions about some of the top safeties and whether they can play in open space, and great has that completely checked off, man. And you're getting a three-, four-year guy that has plenty of experience at the CUSA level, has produced at arguably the highest level of any other transfer that they've landed thus far. And when you're looking at now the secondary with Nugget having multiple years of experience, with Great having multiple years of experience, with to pair with the ultimate upside that a Travis Hunter has, even though he's a freshman in Cam, only being in year two, all the experience that he gained last year, I think you look at Jackson State and you're saying, okay, they've really brought in some experience now on this defensive side of the football. And for me, looking at Great, He's a day one starter, and you know I know with the injury, he's definitely a day one starter, but I don't think he's surrendering a safety spot. I mean, when you look at the production, when you look at the talent, when you look at the upside that a great has in a, in a defensive system that Jackson State runs where they allow players to be extremely aggressive and, and go in, just go out there and make plays, I think great ceiling is – through the roof, man. And, you know, I like my guy Jordan Moore over at FAMU who came in um, this offseason too. But for me, great looking at it as a, as a SWAC newcomer of the year type talent. And so I think this, this addition for Jackson State, man, might be the most impactful that they've had 
this entire offseason. I mean, it gives them one of, in my opinion, the best safeties at the FCS level now. Now that he's dropping down into the FCS, Greg Gate is a game changer, man. And if you're a Jackson State fan, man, you have to be extremely excited about now what this defensive upside could be, man. I mean, great is going to be a leader. And when you compare that with an Aubrey Miller at the second level and some of the guys they have coming back on the defensive line too, man, you have a lot of guys who are going to be vocal leaders for this defense. And so right now, Jackson State's in a great position, man. Coming off this spring game that a lot of people question, you know, if having it on ESPNU, like what was the money? Well, you're seeing the payoff on the recruiting trail. Like I told you guys on the spring preview, players care about that. And so with them landing Greg Great, with them landing Tyler, uh, the offensive lineman I had on earlier this week, with them landing multiple wide receivers, with all these recruits that they're bringing in, you're seeing the – the payment really come down the pipeline of the exposure that they got playing on ESP and you having that attention, having all the focus on them on that Sunday afternoon is paying off in a big way. Having all these guys come to campus, experience what it's like to be at Jackson state, talk to other players, talk to other recruits and you're seeing it pay off in a big way. But Greg great commits or commits and announces his transfer to Jackson state, man, comment below your thoughts on great comment below and what you think about the secondary right now. But for me, man, looking at 200 plus tackles, eight picks, seven forced fumbles, a two time All American first team in 2020. Greg Great is bringing it all, guys. But make sure to comment below. Make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Stay tuned this weekend. I'm going to do some NFL draft coverage as players from the FCS and the SWAG and the MEAC all. All get drafted this weekend, man. So stay tuned. Shout out to all those guys. And I'm really rooting for them to be able to achieve their dream of making it to the NFL. But stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. But until next time, guys, the Blue Bloods are out. Yeah.